All right. Today I'm meeting Zeke, Sneaky Zeke in the field. We're gonna go ride together, go explore together. I'm a little late. I told him 12 o'clock and it's 12.50, so. It is a nice day. A little chilly. But totally, totally fun. It could be a lot colder. Oh boy, this is gonna be muddy. There's a golf ball right there. First of that dude right there on the back of his, like he golfs off the back of his porch because it's so close to this field. I remember one time I was younger, we were out here, me and my friends were out here like exploring and I picked up like at least 50 golf balls. Like the guy just golfs off his back porch and doesn't care about the golf balls after that. It's kind of funny. Because then my dad and I take him to the range and tee up, you know, whatever the golf terms are. I have no idea. I don't actually golf, but when we were younger, we did. I was like, Dad, I found all these golf balls. Can we go golf? He's like, sure. <laughs> Man, that was, that was pretty crazy right there. It's a lot of mud. Who's that? What? It's Sneaky Zeke. <laughs> you want to go to the cabins? Oh. Have you ever been? Oh. Oh. I'm too fast for Sneaky Zeke. It's very bumpy. I don't think Zeke's suspension is that great, so I think he's getting getting a little bit more of the uh, impact than I am. <laughs> I probably just sprayed the crap out of him. <laughs> I didn't realize he was right behind me. You just want to get the first one right there? Or do you want me to give you a tour of the whole place and then we can go there? Sorry, I'm not talking much. It takes a lot of concentrating to not completely wipe out with all this mud. Nothing like B-Rad Moto, where he goes flying through these trails. That was sketchy. Oh man, that's just gonna sink. Well, there's lots of glass up there. That should be good. That was a that was scary loop there. <laughs> Dude, I almost fell off with those logs. But yeah, these are the good old cabins. Look at look at how this is like bowed. Yeah, I wonder whose footprint that is. I really want to come back here in the summertime. I want to like see if we can get permission to come back here and just take like a full day just cutting down all the stuff to clear the trails, and then the next day we can come out and just like rip through them because there's a big hill like that hill right there oh, they yeah. built that to like ramp off of and i think it'd be sweet if we could oh we would totally like hurt ourselves well yeah that's the point that's funny. i looked at your dirt bike i was like why did my dirt bike get so small it's like oh wait doesn't it look so funny <laughs> the luxury of having an electric start is like really nice but it also really sucks when it breaks because you uh there like you have to fix it to be able to start the bike but if I had a electric start as an option, it'd be nice because then I could kick it whenever the electric start wasn't working. But electric start is nice when it works because it just one touch and it started. You have to sit there kicking it a million times. 
but Kickstarter's nice too. I have nothing against Kickstarter. My first bike was a Kickstarter. Not hating. Ah! Ah! Those thorn bushes! Alright, if if you guys watched the the uh, video with Sean when he was on like his Yamaha Bobber, I did like a little edit towards the end, like the smallest little bit of an edit with music. So uh, I think I'm gonna do the same thing with Zeke here. <laughs> his back tire spins out. Every time he does that, that's kind of impressive. Man, that oh that smell. I wish I wish YouTube videos could come with smells because the smell of Zeke's exhaust is just like It honestly smells like the when I went to the sand dunes when like the sand rails went flying by and have this like racing fuel kind of smell. Maybe Zeke put some racing fuel in that thing. Man, Zeke wasn't lying, that thing's quick. If you wanted to go back that way, we could too. It's up to you. Sure. You want to do rolling? Yeah, I'll just start going whenever you go. There's a car coming. Yeah. Back to the rescue. These pants are way too tight. <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. But they're my they're my dirt bike pants. Because they're crappy jeans that I don't need. I don't know why I'm telling you this because no one cares. There's the monster truck Buick. See ya! Mud keeps hitting me and it's, it feels like someone's throwing something out my back. <laughs> Gotta start the long trek home alone because Zeke doesn't love me anymore. I'm so lonely. So good. Oh, that's what it is. I forgot to put my helmet strap on. Oh my goodness. I'm always preaching about safety first and I forgot to put my helmet strap on. How ridiculous. I'm so sorry, YouTube. This should never happen. I was like, something he's hitting me in the back. <laughs> I thought it was dirt flying up. I was like, okay, this is too too consecutive of hitting. Something's got to. Something else has to be doing it. Man, look at all that horse poop. This is the time where I either fall or get shot by an angry farmer. I'm telling you, I'm calling it right now. Let's try and get up there. Oh yeah, with these. 
there's a car coming. I'm so bad at like like a stereotypical vlogging, like I can't I can't talk like the whole time I'm riding because I'm having too much fun. Either I'm having too much fun or I'm focusing on like the whole time on trying not to crash. I'm sorry if my videos aren't that entertaining, but I try sometimes. Like right now I'm just bouncing. That's entertaining, right? That was a big hole. That was a big hole. That was a big hole. That is what everyone said. Oh. So when you when you make your videos, you usually like for me, I make the videos like right now, and I don't edit them until I get back to college. So like, I, I edit them a little bit later. I don't edit it the same day like some other people do or can do, and I always forget about what I said in the vlog and then another instance is like when I edit the stuff and I don't post it until like the because I try and do like Sundays well today I probably won't get one posted but because today is Sunday I try to do Sundays and Thursdays and like so sometimes I'll edit stuff have it completely done and I just don't upload it until like either Thursday or Sunday so I forget how that really hurt uh, I forget what I talked about. Man, like a rock that like, hit my ankle or something. That really hurt. So I forget what I talked about in the vlog. And then I, I come back to the YouTube video and I see like I get comments and people comment about the stuff I say. I'm just like, what? So I have to go back and rewatch the video. And YouTube probably thinks I'm watching my videos just to up the view count. And I mean, that's not what I do. I don't really care. I just make videos for fun. But like I had to watch the whole video to see what I said. I'm like, what are you guys talking about? And I think it's one of the funniest things. Like, even when I get a comment on a video that I posted like months ago and someone says like something I said was hilarious. I'm like, well, thank you. I don't remember saying that. So I go back and watch the video and I like make myself laugh because I haven't seen it in a while. There's a lot of smoke down there. I was like, hopefully there's not a car on fire. Cause Dirty Mike would have to come to the rescue. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, I appreciate if you guys hit the like button as well. And click on the last video. I will put it on the screen. Let's try for here. Or here, or here, or here. Maybe I got it. Maybe, maybe I got it on one of those. So click on the last video. It's a lot like this one, I'm pretty sure. And it was very entertaining.